All right, you guys in the bottling department, shake it up. We got a lot of orders to fill. Hey, group, yeah. what label you want me to put on this batch? The ten-year-old Tennessee Mountain Dew or the five-year-old Chattanooga sipping corn? Well, let's be strictly honest about it this time. Use the age in the wood label. Willie dropped his toothpick in the mash. <laughs> That tastes like instant sick leave. What's the idea, Willie? If the guys at the base tried his stuff, they figure we sold out the Tojo. Sorry, group, but I'm real worried. I ain't got a letter from Effie May in now in three weeks. Forget about Effie May. Think of your sweet old grandmother back in Spruce Ridge. That's right. If she finds out how you lost up a recipe for corn squeezes, well, she'll sick the revenues on you. Hey, Willie! Listen, I picked this letter up for you over at Mainside. It's the one you've been waiting for all the way from the hill to Tennessee. <laughs> hey, lads, we're back in business. Once again, our happy mountain boy will be dancing barefoot through the sour mash. <laughs> oh, Effie May. What's the matter, Willie? She got married. What? Effie May went and married that 4F Luke Higgins. Oh, boy, you need a drink. Oh, he's got enough trouble. Don't poison him. <laughs> Hi, Chuck. Hi. Where's everybody? Oh, well, uh, officially, I couldn't say, Skip, but uh, unofficially, they're up at the S-T-I-L-L. <laughs> hey, now, watch your language, boy. <laughs> There's nothing in regulations against a man having a hobby, you say? Oh, no, no. It's good for the morale. It takes your mind off war. In fact, if you ever had any of that stuff, it takes your mind off everything. Yeah, when the recreation hour is over, pass the word along to Willie that he's to report to the main base 1400. Captain Binghamton's radio man came down with, uh, I don't know, something or other, and he to, has to take over his watch for him. Okay. Hey, Skipper! Ah, hey, Skip, you better go talk to Willie. Maybe you can cheer him up. Why, right, what's the matter? Well, that pea picking sweetheart of his just sent him a Dear John letter. Oh, for crying out loud. Poor swab's out here fighting a war, and that backwoods female jilts him. How's he taking it? Rough, Skip. He's sitting there like he was shell-shocked. Kamikaze, we should be so lucky. That's the still. <laughs> Willie, what happened? I uh, think May got married. Nice of you to drop in on our little staff meeting. Now, I'm sorry if the war interferes with your water skiing. Well, we weren't water skiing, sir. No, sir. We were having a little trouble with our still, though. <laughs> well, we're always glad to come over, Captain. Yes, sir. And see how the Navy operates. Don't <laughs> get cute with me, Mikhail. Clam up and sit down. I'll move. <clears throat> if you'll get Mortimer Snurd off your lap there, we'll proceed with the meeting. Gentlemen, I want you to hear this, and I want you to hear it good. There are no more seats. <laughs> Stand up. Lean against the safe. Get in the safe. Just shut up. I have been alerted to expect a visit from Congressman Carl Joyner. Now, this is a visit so important that I have been alerted by a directive from Comminge Pack. No question about what that means. Well, I have a question. What is it? Oh, what does Comminge Pack mean? <laughs> Nobody could be that stupid what is coming. On second thought, I take that back. Comminge Pack means Commander-in-Chief Pacific Fleet. Kale, would you stop conducting school while I'm talking? Now, Congressman Joyner happens to be the ranking congressman on the Committee of Naval Appropriations. He can smell a loose dollar in the wind, and I don't mind telling you I'm not looking forward to his visit. Well, Captain, I want you to know that we're behind you 100%, sir. Oh, thank you, Mikhail. I think nothing of it, sir. Yes, sir, if you're in trouble with your accounts, we'll make up the shortage out of our own pockets, right? <laughs> we'll pass the hat right now. Sure. Oh, shut up, you'll pass the hat right now. What's the matter with you? Comedians! What I need are fighting men, and they send me fat little comedians. Captain, just when does Congressman Joyner do here? 
Sometime next week. I've sent a message to Captain Dryden. He's the officer who will accompany the congressman asking for the details. And whose office you think this is? I don't want to be interrupted by an important meeting. Oh, oh, Captain Dryden, he's on the scramble. Put him on, put him on. Hello, Dryden, did you get my message? What in places is going on down there? We've checked every code in the book, including the Japanese, and still it comes out every other word, F-E-M-A. That's right, E-F-F-I-E-M-A-Y. Uh, uh, F-E-M-A? I... Get that radio man in here. I didn't send any message with F-E-M-A in it. Willie, jumping torpedoes. Willie's fouled up. Settle down, man. Get this Effie May off your mind, whoever she is. Uh, but, but Dryden, uh, uh, Captain Dryden? Sir? All right, Moss, what is all this about Effie May? Gee, Captain, how'd you hear about her? I heard about her the hard way, straight from Commons Pack. Oh, that's Commander-in-Chief of uh, Pacific Fleet. Knock it off! <laughs> Oh, now, ease off there, Captain. Uh, you and your crew have got me into trouble for the last time. I'm going to ship this moss right out of here just as soon as I can get a replacement. Shipping them out? Oh, but, Captain, have a heart. Never mind my heart. It's my ulcer that I'm worried about. <laughs> and you listen to me. If you and your eight balls make one miscue while that congressman is here, I'm going to rack you up and drop you in a side pocket like the Aleutians. Oh, but, Captain... Don't you butt me. I mean it. And I'm going to do it if I have to put the orders straight through to Sinkus. Sinkus? That's a dandy. What does that one mean? <laughs> Commander-in-chief of the... Oh, get out of here. Oh, get out, get out, get out. Hurry up. I tell you, Skip, we gotta do something. Yeah, if Willie gets shipped out now on top of losing this gal, he'd be bucking for a Section 8. There must be something we can do, Skip. Skip, it just ain't like you to give up without a fight. All right, ease off, Willie. I tried talking to Willie to, to, to snap him out of it, but it wasn't like he didn't even hear me. Look, if any of you guys got any bright ideas, now's the time to bring him up. Yeah, the Skipper's right. We can't blame him every time somebody gets in trouble. Now, this is one problem we just got to iron out ourselves. What a boy, Mr. Parker. What's your idea? Well, now, there are any number of things we can do. Uh, one, if we all got together, we could, uh... <clears throat> well, two... <laughs> There's a possibility. Uh... Look, I hate to pass a buck, but this isn't listed man's problem. Hey, guys, I think Mr. Parker just came up with a solution. See? Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, any leader of men would have done the same for his crew. Yeah. What, what was the solution? When you said full rank. Skip, all you got to do is put in a good word for Willie with your old pal, Admiral Reynolds. Gee, I think Gloob's got yeah, it. Skip, good, right? good. He says that we're the best combat crew in the South Pacific. Well, you guys want me to defy Captain Binghamton? To go over his head? To violate the Navy chain of command? Now, wait just a minute! That's long enough. I'll do it. Come on. <laughs> yes, Daddy, anything you say, Admiral. Anything. Yes, sir. Get on the ball. Yes. And, and uh, batten down the hatches. Yes, sir. Right. And, yeah, get the lead out of uh, Yes. Right. Thank you very much, Admiral. Thank you. Oh, make me some day. Come in! Oh, hello, Captain. Sorry to butt in, sir, but uh, my ears were burning. I had a feeling someone was talking about me, sir. And my nose has been itching, too, so... Oh, wait a minute. Check that. That means you're going to kiss a fool. <laughs> Would you stop that infernal babbling? Yeah, you're really asking for it, going over my head to the Admiral. Oh, now, wait a minute, Captain. Don't make waves. Now, you're trying to break up my crew, and I had to go to bed for them. And now, sir, if you'll excuse us, <laughs> we'll go inform uh, Radioman Moss that he's been reinstated. Just a minute, Mikhail. Moss has not been reinstated. What? The Admiral may have a soft spot in his heart, but not in his head. Your boy's future here at Taratupa is, to put it in a word, very iffy. What do you mean? The Admiral is sending a communications officer down here to give that boy a full and complete radio man ratings test, and he'd better not make one teensy-weensy little mistake. But he already passed that test. That's right, sir, and according to naval regulations, you can't try a man twice for the same offense. Right? Oh, is that right? Well, that's a good thing for you, Goofy. Or you'd be in a constant state of court-martial for impersonating an officer. Oh, now, wait a minute, sir. I've got papers uh -huh. to... Ah-ha, sounded Rin Tin Tin. Get him out of here before he bites somebody. <laughs> Oh, 
What does he mean, impersonating an officer, Skip? Why, it says right on my commission. Oh, don't worry about that now, Chuck. Willie's our problem right now. Oh, God, he's so shook up about that Effie May that he's going to blow that test for sure. Yeah, well, I don't know why he can't get his mind off Effie May. There's a lot of good-looking girls around here. You sure there are. But Willie's taste runs to, to, to Tennessee Mountain Gals. And where are you going to find a sweet-talking pea picker in this part of the world, I ask you? Yeah. Excuse me. I'm new on this here base. Could y'all tell me where the officer's club is? Uh, right over there, miss. Thank you, Ken. You're welcome. <laughs> A pea picker! <laughs> God, miss, I gotta talk to you. Well, sir, you don't have to scare me half to death. Uh -huh. Quick, Mikhail, unhand that woman. Oh. That's a no no. Oh, now, Molly, it's not what you think. It better not be. <laughs> Cindy, this is Commander Mikhail. <laughs> He's already spoken for it. Lieutenant <laughs> Cindy Bates. Ensign Parker, it's open season on him. I'm mighty proud to make the acquaintance of such charming gentlemen. Well, hush, my puppy. <laughs> you all ain't half as proud to meet we all as I all is to meet you all. Uh, and uh, that's all. Oh, boy. Don't try to tease me with that Dixie talk. You're not from the Sile. Yeah, yeah, but there's a boy in our crew who is, and I think you're just the gal that can save his bacon and grits, honey. Come on, honey, I'm going to buy you a drink. Yeah. Mint julep, of course. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I come along? I'm all set, Commander. How do I look? Oh, great, and you're an angel for doing this, but remember, this is a rush job, so you really got to turn on that southern charm. Go full speed ahead. <laughs> I sure do, my little old best. Oh, boy, if that's not good enough, then maybe you ought to be shipped out, huh? <laughs> Oh, mm, didn't hurt a bit. <laughs> didn't hurt a bit. <laughs> hey, Willie, they got a new nurse in there. Boy, what a cute doll. A dame. Yeah, yeah, but this one's a sun gala. A real Dixie bluebell. Hmm, with a landscape like those Tennessee hills. Woo-hoo! Come on. Try to skip. Golly, I hate shots. Oh, but once you get a load of this gorgeous dish of corn, poor man, you won't feel a thing. Come on, boy, come on. Get in here, come on. Lieutenant Cindy Bates, this is Radio Man Willie Moss. <laughs> well, howdy there, Willie Moss. They tell me y'all come from Tennessee. That's my neck of the piney woods. Yes, ma'am. Hey, he's a little shy. My, my, what a darling boy. Enough to make a girl's heart go pity pat. Don't hang your head, sugar. You don't have to be shy with little old me. <laughs> Come on, boy, look at her, look at her. Well, now, Willie, wasn't that the nicest little old shot you ever had? What do you say? Thank you, ma'am. Let's get out of here, Skip. <laughs> Molly says, that boy isn't shy. He's just plain dead. Yeah, how do you like that, Willie? He gets a good-looking dame and nothing happens. Mm. Yeah, he's sicker than we thought. Well, what are we going to do now, Skip? I don't know. Hey, Skip, where's Willie? He's up in the hills moping. Why? Uh, I got some bad news. That examining officer is going to be here in the morning, and Willie's supposed to report to take that test at 0800. Well, that knocks the bung out of the barrel. Yeah, you can say that again. Well, now, wait a minute, Skip. I think I can carry the ball here. Now, if I can find Willie, I can teach him all I know about communications in 24 hours. <laughs> Matter of fact, I can do it in 20 minutes. Well, thanks, Chuck. But that's not Willie's problem now. It's the state of mind he's in. In a word, Effie May. I hate to say anything, Skipper. That's two words. Oh, I know what you mean. Which you must be a real doozy to top Cindy. Are you kidding? She's a big nothing. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Willie threw this away when he got that letter. Oh, so that's Effie May, huh? No. <laughs> Boy, no wonder he didn't go for Cindy. She was wearing shoes. Yeah. Hey, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what? Well, Lord, look, 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 all Willie saw in Cindy was a nurse in a hospital. But supposing he was to see her dressed up like this, without them shoes, and surrounded by a bunch of her mountain kinfolk. Now, that might sure shake up his chitlins. Hey, that's the best darn idea you come up with yet. Neighbors, we're going to have us a real old mountain hoedown. <laughs> Critters, halt! 
Present Chug. Your belly detail ready for inspection, Skip. Uh, the Dog Patch Volunteer Brigade, I do believe. As you were, you bunch of varmints. Hey, Skip, ain't we a caution? How do we look, Skip? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where'd you get that mountain greenery, boy? Just use the old group of genius and the stuff is out of a mattress. Oh, you pickers are sure going all out. <laughs> Anything I can do to help? You already have. It was your mattress, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no kidding. You guys sure did a great job. <laughs> if this doesn't snap Willie out of it, nothing will. <laughs> Hillbilly, where are you from, the south of Tokyo? How so? Bye, Clucky. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. It's fun time. Uh, ain't no time for studying. Ah, oh, darn. Well, what's going on? Hey, well, you know that the little nurse Cindy over at the main base? Yeah, what about her? She's a chick from down your way, and real lonesome for the Hominy Grit country. Uh, you see, she's feeling rather poorly, so we thought we'd give her one of them dad gum hoedowns. Kind of liven up her vittles, you know what I mean? Well, we thought it would be right neighborly if you'd uh, mosey along with us. Well, sure, I I'll help out. But I swear, I ain't never heard nobody talk like that in my whole life. <laughs> hey, Phyllis! Skip us coming with girls. Let's go, neighbor son. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Come right this way, ladies. Yeah. Ladies, may I present to you the shore patrol of the Confederate Navy. <laughs> We're mountain men without a care. Our beards are long and our feet are bare. We patch our britches when they tear. And likewise with our underwear. <laughs> we do what comes naturally. We towed our jugs when we put to sea. Nothing like us in the whole Navy. The hillbillies of the 73. <laughs> Say howdy to our guest of honor, Miss Cindy Bates. 